hailing from a country with a population of more than 3 million, which experiences snow three months of the year, Rumantsev's achievements may not seem spectacular, but Lithuania have only been competing in the sport since 1992. The Baltic nation also has only four locations on which to train, compared to over 200 in Austria, the sport's traditional powerhouse. Transworld Sport recently travelled to Vilnius, the nation's capital, to meet a group of people hoping to change their country's fortunes. Known as Kalnu Irali, or the Mountain Eagles, the club began with the assistance of the Lithuanian Alpine Ski Federation in 2005. The latter wanted to encourage alpine skiing at a grassroots level. The Eagles team is made up of children aged 4 to 17. I was one of the first members of the team. We were only a very small group of people back then. I still remember when we founded the team and began practicing. Now I've become more established and have grown to over 50 skiers who represent the Eagles. The team is divided into four groups ranging from a learn to ski group through to the national team, which is only for kids who've been invited to join. Training consists of two nights on the slopes in Vilnius, one or two days in Ignalina, and every year the team competes in the Lithuanian Championships. I mean, most of these kids have only actually been skiing for about three or four years. And they surprise me every time. They learn so fast. The biggest shock for me was during the last Lithuanian Championships, which included Lithuanians from all over the world. All of the skiers on the podium were Mountain Eagles club members. Even the overall winner, which included boys, girls and adults aged 35 and over, was a member of the Mountain Eagles. They were standing on the podium and that was the biggest surprise for me. In a country where basketball is king, there are now kids switching to the ski program for their recreation. Head coach Jennifer Virskus. In terms of biggest challenges, well, this winter has been a challenge. I, last winter was bad, but we still had three races in Latvia. We had three races, I think three weekends here racing in Lithuania, and we it was more or less okay, you know, by the end of January. We had snow consistently until the middle of March. We have not gotten snow this winter at all. It's been around zero the whole time, and that's been really difficult. We've been doing physical training all through January and February in the grass and in the sun, so that's definitely a challenge. In an attempt to close this gap, the team uses the warmer months to attend dryland training camps where stamina, form and strength are worked on. While in September, before the new season starts, they compete in the Vilnius Mini Marathon to continue to build fitness and raise team spirit. Paulius Agunas is the president of the Lithuanian Ski Federation. Our dream is to raise serious alpine skiers who can compete at the World Championships and Olympic Games and not be the ones who finished last, but rather in the top 30. I hope that among the members we send to those championships, there'll be some from the Mountain Eagles team. If they continue to work hard at it and desire it strongly enough, and we have sufficient funding, I don't see why they can't one day represent this country at major championships. With long-term goals aimed towards the Olympics, the team currently has three out of the four active Lithuanian alpine skiers on the FIS circuit. However, with an average age of 13, representing your country can be a daunting task. Prior to the first competition, I received a lot of support from my teammates, and the coaches tried their best to help me, to calm me down so I wouldn't be so nervous. That really helped me a lot, the fact that everyone was by my side. Like all kids, though, the team enjoy fun and games, but are expected to meet strict academic standards. If grades slip, the skier is dropped from the team until they improve. This mix of fun and discipline helps build a level of understanding and camaraderie within the team. 
It's really great as you've got friends here. Everybody helped you at the start line and is very kind to you. I found so many friends here and eventually I think it is much better for the team. Because when you are alone, it is not so pleasant or as much fun as when you are with your friends. When we are together, we are happier and enjoy it more. As with any sport involving participants at a young age, the probability of burnout is high. But if these young eagles stay and grow with the club, then their dreams of representing their nation at the Sochi Winter Games in 2014 may become a reality. This is the next generation of skiers, and we're so pleased with what is happening at the Mountain Eagles Club. Jennifer has created a great club. She performs her duties very enthusiastically and spiritually. We'll always try to support the Mountain Eagles team in every way, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to increase that support by as much as we can so that a new generation of skiers can grow up here.